I will never understand why the Republican Party has not reached out to the African-American voting population. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I don't understand it. Why for years people have always thought that Republicans are for white people. I, I, don't, I don't get this, and I'm not even a Republican. I can't stand Republicans, but I hate Democrats. I mean, I despise them. They're un-American. They're, they're, they're not even human. It is an estimated right now that there are about 47.9, about 50 million people in the United States identifying as black or African-American in 2022. 50 million and the black population has grown by more than, it is said, more than 10 million since 2000. When 36.2 million of the U.S. population identified as black, marking a 32% increase over roughly two decades, about 14%, 13.6% of the population. And for some reason, I don't understand why, and, and I bring this up, and I've talked about Cat Williams, and people think, oh, are, are you talking about that guy again? Yes! He's Trump. He, listen to what he says. He's a, he's a rogue. He's a rapscallion. He, he, he basically is telling the rest of the people that he's, he's, he's violating and going contrary to the official message that has been shoved down the throats of black folks since day one. He's identified what he calls the Illuminati. What I have been doing since the beginning of my professional career, 35 plus years ago, was explaining to the folks and to you that the people that you think who are in charge are not in charge. This is what I've been saying. Now, here's what Trump needs to do. He needs to get a hold of Cat Williams, but never stand on a stage together. Never. Never. Too much. Oh, no, 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 no. They have an agreement, a conspiracy, conspirare, to breathe with, to breathe together, a confederation. Not illegal, but an agreement, a work. Where what Cat Williams does is he continues to tell people, this is what is happening. These are the people. These are the actual people who are involved in destroying the, you, you can call it the, the, uh, the entertainment world. He's done it before. He's called it the Illuminati. He's referred to how basically there are the, the chosen few. That's what we're talking about. The African-American community would understand perfectly by extrapolating what Cat Williams is saying. Now, let's go from there to the rest of the world. Let's talk about that to Bilderberg, to Israel, to Palestine, to, to, uh, to Russia, to Ukraine, to the UN, to the CFR, to the World Economic Forum, to Schwab, to the Great Reset, to the shadow government, the police state, the intel state, the shadow government, the ruling class. It's perfect. Black folks understand perfectly. And by the way, this may be this 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 may surprise everybody to know to no end. And using this rather archaic word, black folks are more conservative than you will ever believe. Ask ask 30 ask the 40% of the black Americans whether they believe in the notion of of transgendered rights specifically where a man, a 50-year-old man can identify as a 15-year-old girl and walk around naked in a locker room with a bunch of little girls. Come on. You want to do that? Try it. Go ahead. Remember Prop 8? Remember years ago, whenever they had this, uh, there was an, an, an attempt to ask Californians whether they believe in gay marriage. And overwhelmingly, black, Ameri black Californians said no. And what happened was, the, the, the proponents of such said that this was a perfect analog to 1967 in the Loving Against Virginia case where anti-miscegenation laws prevented black folks from marrying intermarriage in terms of race. And black voters said, 
Are you trying to are you trying to tell us that being gay is the same as racial? That that being gay is the same as being black? Or wait, wait, what? That black and white marriage is the same as gay marriage? They were enraged. And white America completely said, well, I don't understand this. Why don't they think like we do? Because there is this, I don't want to call it reverse or misdirected paternalism. I don't know what it is. But there is, I'm telling you right now, the voice, and, and, and by the way, it's, just, it's, it's, it's not just Cat Williams, I've been telling you, it's Jason Whitlock, it's Stephen A. Smith, it's also going back to Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Kimmel, it's this idea that, as Breitbart said, that politics is downstream from culture, downstream. And, and what's happening right now is, when he spoke for that Club Shay Shay, and by the way, Shannon Sharp is, uh, is the luckiest man in the, world, in the world, because Shannon Sharp is not exactly the sharpest... <laughs> knife in the drawer. I mean, this is not, he will not be in any way uh, uh, confused with Schopenhauer or Niels Bohr. This is not the brain trust, I promise you, of the uh, sports commentary intelligentsia, the cognoscenti. Believe me, I mean, with all due respect to Shannon Sharp, he's got his, uh, he's, he's got his own, his own uh, the the SNL caricature was, I mean, perfect. That notwithstanding, Cat Williams is a genius. And I'm going to remind you again, when people say, oh, he's just some kind of a comic. Really? Really? Like Dick Gregory? Like Letty Bruce? Like Will Rogers? Like Mark Twain? Like George Carlin? Some of the most important voices ever in our American uh, worldview. What what John Stewart used to be before he decided to give it all away before Trump came in to run a petting zoo in Jersey or whatever the hell he did before he lost his mind. Trump should reach out, have a deal, and speak concomitantly but never together, never on the same stage, but echo the same. You can refer to each other, but don't stand next to each other. You think I'm kidding? You think I'm exaggerating? You listen to what I'm saying. I know I'm right. I'm 100% right. What do you think, dear friend? What do you think? And from the African-American community, who apparently seems to be just, just, just forgotten in American politics, I mean, nowhere to be found. Oh, they talk about you. They talk about you like you're children, like the way adults talk about children. You know when adults used to spell? It's time for B-E-D, and the kids would say, I know what you're talking about. Because it's paternalism. It's also, it's a form of systemic and almost a, a disgusting form of infantilism. You're, 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 you're spoken of in terms of this juvenescence. Like your 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 children, but that ends now. President Trump, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Kanye West. I know people think Kanye. Yay! What are they crazy? Okay, fine. The platinum teeth. Okay, whatever it is. Dismiss him at your own peril. Dismiss him. I've seen through this. I've seen through this. Okay, I know what I'm talking about. What do you think? How do we get Mr. Williams and? President Trump to meet in a in a in a uh, uh, a a, a high-level uh, uh, conference of the sorts that we have never even imagined a meeting of the minds. Fourteen percent of the population that changes the voting popu- that changes the voting calculus completely. Think about that. Think about what I'm saying. What do you think? Comment as you see fit.